Hi everybody, welcome back to Armour Reforger and I thought it was about time we went back to some server modding. So we're kind of going back to basics with this video and I'm going to be showing you how to install the uh, Kunar province map on your Nitrado server and we're going to install a Kunar uh, scenario as well so you can play. And if you're wondering, oh, well, you know, what's the point because you can play it locally, can't you, on your PC if you're playing by yourself? You can, but the beauty of having a little server is you can have what we see here. So the view you're seeing here is me playing on my PC version of Armour of Forger. And yet if we jump over to here, this is the feed from my Xbox. And there we can see, uh, I suppose if I should make it go full screen, shouldn't I? You can see it better. And there we have the Xbox view of the same thing. So we've got cross-play between Xbox and uh, PC, and we're both playing armor reforger and we're both playing on the amazing kunar province afghanistan map which looks absolutely fantastic so 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 right let's jump out of here um let's minimize that one and then i'll tell you what we'll do let's jump out of here for now as well um because it'll make it a little bit easier and then let's have a look at what we're going to be installing so what we're going to be installing is uh, the Kunar Province Afghanistan map and then to give us something to do Combat Operations 1 Kunar so this is well it's com a bit like conflict you've got to go around and you've got to do tasks and you've got to push the Russians out um, and I picked this one because it doesn't have any dependencies at the moment apart from the Kunar Province map um, and I think when you're working with crossplay especially and you want Xboxes to have a go uh, Crossplay can be very important, um, and uh, having a minimum of mods can be very important as well. Because if you have dozens and dozens of different mods, it can be get a little bit tricky on Xbox. So, 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 if you've previously had a um, Nitrado uh, Reforger server and you've kind of given up on it because things st stopped working, the first thing I recommend you do is uh, re just just do a simple reinstall. So that it blanks everything off and everything's back to normal. And then what I'd recommend you do is go into the settings. And in the settings, give your server name, give your server its name. Uh, choose your FPS. You notice I've just gone for 60 here um, because you know, I, I don't need any more than that. And I've just ticked crossplay, And I haven't really miss, um, uh, uh change any other stuff at all as well so that that's basically what we've done and then you save that then once you've done that we're not going to touch this screen again really we're going to be going to config files and here we have your config file and then what you'll want to do is on your config file you'll probably want to go down um, and you want to give the server a kind of a name which you do there um, and I find it's best to re relate this to something to do with you, so your friends and people can find it, and then something to do with what's running on the server. So my one is uh, a test of Kunar. You may want to set a password, so not everybody can get on. And then down the bottom, you should see that it now says Platform PC, Platform XBL, and you want to put in your admin password. The admin password is the thing that you can enter into chat, into global chat, which then will give you access to the game master kind of the the Zeus mode so you can spawn other things in and generally <laughs> zoom around the map in 3d and and do that sort of thing so how do we get Kunar installed so if you scroll down you will find that your um, your server will probably look something like that with mods and then two little square brackets so let me paste these back in um, so what we need to do is add in these uh, mod ID, name, and version. Um, and so what you want to do is in Reforger, when it jumps up, you'll want to go into the workshop, and you'll want to go and you'll want to find these mods, so Kunar. So we've searched for that one. Find Kunar Province and subscribe to that. Find combat operations in this case and subscribe to that, and then download them to your local PC. Um, and to get them to work on your server, it's it's very simple. All you need to do is go to the online workshop, and I'll put a link to this in the description of the video. And the name you can just put Kunar Province Afghanistan if you like. You copy that. Oop, 
I'm in the wrong bit. And then you could paste that into the name. That doesn't really matter. What does matter is the mod ID. And so all you do is you copy that and you paste that into there. And then for combat operations, you do the same thing. Again, you could copy the name and then you copy the mod ID from there. And then you paste that into there. Now for the version, if you leave that kind of blank, like so, what that means is it will um, it will use the latest version, which which can be handy. But sometimes if you've got uh, say a particularly um, complicated server with lots of different mods, you may want to hold on to updates so that people um, don't aren't forced to use the latest one. But generally, you want to do that. So once you've done that, that's good. However, what we need to do make sure is that the scenario ID is correct here. This is very important. If we don't change this, things will not work. And this is where it gets a little bit more complicated. So what, what we do now is we need to find where Reforger has downloaded the mods to our local computer. Um, and so once Reforger has finished and it and they're all uh, downloaded, and there's, there's no updates to do, although that doesn't really matter that much, what you want to do is go onto your computer here we go. And generally, in your documents folder, you'll find a thing called My Games. So you go to Documents, My Games, and in here you'll find Armor Reforger. And then you want to go to Add-ons. Then you'll see all the add-ons. Now, luckily, recently, Bohemian Interactive have changed the way that you can name uh, um, mods, and they actually have the name in the title. In the, of the uh, folder which is good it didn't used to be like that but what you can do is if you go to uh, here for example and we go to uh, combat ops because we want the scenario to be driven by combat operations we search for this ID here so you copy that and then we go to here and then your search box you paste that and search for that and then it will find it. There you go, combat operations. You can see it's actually cold combat operations, so they're easier to find now than they used to. And then within here, you find the server data.json file. And you open that with the text editor, Notepad or Notepad++, something like that. And then what we're interested in is the scenarios that are available. And what we can see is combat operations, one, Kuna, there is uh, th this one here. If we wanted to use the game master, scenario that would actually come with Kunar um, if we go to documents my games armor of forger add-ons what you could do is if we go back to here and search for this one and we go into the server data json here what we can see is that the game master for kunar province so if you only install game uh, kunar province on your server you would put that in but let's go back to this one so we want everything that's inside the inverted commas everything that's inside the quotation mark. so we copy all of that and we go back to our server and then we paste that in up there and that's that's he says that's the scenario ID. Um, so once we've done that, we save that, and then we restart our server, and then when you go to the multiplayer, uh, search for your one, so my one's called Scale. Let's look for that one. So there we go, Scale Speeder, GM, Test, Kuna. Make sure you favorite, and then you can click on that, and you can get in, and you could enter. So we can click on that, we can say join, it will load up. Now when you're on PC, see, you can run things like this, you can run Game Master and Xbox, you can run Game Master locally, can't you? You don't have to have a server to do that, but where it becomes in useful, uh, quick deploy, we're going to deploy it the same place as the other one, is when you you know you want to do cross-play, so you and a friend, for example, or a group of friends want to play, or maybe you want to have a, you know, a busier server, and this is where, there we go, there's my Xbox buddy. It's all the way up there. And 
here we go. Now, as far as I'm aware, <laughs> what's he doing with his legs? <laughs> Ooh, yeah, you do a, bit, uh, do a bit of Michael Jackson there, isn't he? Uh, or a bit of... Um, anyway. <laughs> Probably a little bit of server desync happening. So anyway, so there we go. So what I will do is I will put a link in the description below the video to the Kunar province map to the combat ops scenario that you can download as well and I will also put a link to a text file that includes my config file here um, so that you can download that and you can copy out the mod section in fact I tell you what what I'll just include is I'll just include the mod section like that bit there now the thing to remember with mods is if you were to load other mods in just remember that each additional mod at the top has to have a, a comma next to it but the last mod mustn't have a comma after the little squirrely bracket that's the way it should work it shouldn't work like that yeah so what i'll do is there'll be a link in the description to a text file on my mega uh, uh drive um so you can download that so you just be able to copy and paste that bit into there um, it'll have the Kunar province and the combat operations in there, so that's nice and easy to do. Um, and uh, there we go, so you've got the, the format for how you put the mods in. Okay, so hopefully that's useful. I will be doing more mods now that the servers seem to be working on um, Armour of Forger. Yeah? There was a period where they were, they were very finicky, um, and we have got some very large updates coming from... Um, uh, armor of forge are coming up soon as well the helicopter mod should be coming this year the official one so that should be very very cool and they're doing a lot of work on improving the um the way that vehicles work as well while we're here i guess i should show you how to log in as admin and get in game master as well so you know we on this particular server the admin password is is s so if i press the slash key next to the right shift we'll get the chat up and i type in hash login uh, S. I'll probably am I going to get this right? Yep. Yeah. Then if you look at the bo bottom right hand corner, it says Scale Speeder has gained admin rights. So now when I pause, I now have access to the Game Master, which means I can now spawn in um, different vehicles, different enemies, as uh, teleport around the map, that sort of stuff. And generally, um, have uh, have a fantastic time. So there we go. Hopefully, you found this video useful. If you have it, like if you want to see all the same. Press subscribe. Please put additional questions in the comments below because your questions drive uh, my content. You know, and when I know what people need to know how to do, that's how I can help and uh, find things out and make the videos to help everybody in the community. Because trust me, there are no stupid questions, and we all have uh, questions that we need to ask, and uh, we all have things that we know that we might want to share. Um, and uh, a rising tide raises all boats, all that sort of stuff. Anyway, that's enough for me. See you again soon.